Hello! I feel like I say this every time, but it's been so long since I've sat down in front of the, this camera and spoke. So I feel weird. So a few months ago, you might have seen I uploaded a apartment tour. It took me so long to upload that video, maybe like seven or eight months after living here. And now I'm filming another one because literally everything has changed. And I wish I was being dramatic. I finally put the finishing touches on my apartment for the second time. And I am so happy with everything. A few things. I absolutely adore my apartment. Not just like the, not just the decor, but the structure itself. <laughs> this is a uh, vintage home and it was built in 1905. It is very old and it has original hardwood floors. Um, they're really thick. I can never know what they're called, but these, these right here, you see what I'm talking about? These guys, if you know what they're called, let me know because I never know what to call them and I've never bothered to figure it out, wow, like figure out what they're called for some reason, but they're like thick and white and I love them. I feel like I'm playing Sims, but in real life. And I've been able to decorate it how I want because I live alone for the first time and it's amazing. I would say a good 90% of everything in this apartment is thrifted or secondhand, which honestly just makes it so much better. I don't think I have anything else to say. So I'm going to show you my apartment now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay, this is the first little like snippet we're going to talk about. This is the first thing you see whenever you walk through the door. I got this little hook off of... Or not off of... I got this little, I guess, key hook? Coat hook, coat rack. I don't know, I got it at a thrift store and I thought it was genius. There's so many different hooks on it and the wood color is perfect. It just looks so nice. So I have just like some jackets hung up, my hats, my bandanas for work, some ponytails, my keys, chalk bag for whenever you and my boyfriend go climbing because we do that a lot. And then um, this like shoe rack because these are all the shoes I own. They always end up right here. So I decided to just put my shoes here instead of in a closet where they'll just end up here again. You know? <laughs> so originally when we got it, it was black. And me and my boyfriend spray painted it white and then just kind of like screwed the wood planks over the top and kind of made it look a little prettier. Got that at the thrift store as well. And then this rug, which I don't, I don't remember where I got this, but it's freaking cute. I feel like it just appeared one day. And then also this little fake plant, which I had to get from the thrift store. Do not buy fake plants. Buy real ones. Only, I like only justify thrifting them because if you buy fake plants, that just don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. The next part that you walk into is this just like wall area. For a while, I didn't really know at all what to do with this because there used to be like a dresser right here, so the whole wall was just completely covered. There's nothing you could do with it. Obviously, my first thought to everything is just plants, so that's kind of what I did. Um, so I just found this little table at a thrift store. It's gold. It has this really cute design on it, but it's like it's a like a TV tray kind of thing where you like unfold it and put like food on it and eat off of it. It's that kind of thing, but I thought it just like looked so cute and dainty that it shouldn't be used for that. I was gonna paint it white originally, but then I just left it gold. I still might paint it white, I don't know yet. Let me know what you think. So I just got this plant on top and then this plant down on the floor, who I feel like used to be bigger, but it's kind of struggling right now, but hopefully she gets better. And then I have um, these two frames, which I got both of them at thrift stores. This one has this little print in it that says choose happy. And then there's this one, which I feel like wasn't a frame. It's kind of like 
a fence shape that's white and it has this like string that you just hang off of it so I just taped one of my drawings to it. It works but <laughs> I think it looks super cool. And then this tiny mirror. Um, I just liked the little sun design that it had. It was like a dark or no, I don't even remember what color it was, but it was like a, like a gold, I think, and I very roughly painted it white. Um, I might have to go over and repaint it again, but I just haven't because I don't really care too much. And then this plant right here is one of my favorites just because I love the pot it's in. I like hand braided the yarn to be in like tiny braids, and then I just threw it together real quick and threw the plant in the pot, and I think it's perfect. It is so cute. I love that guy. This might be the worst lighting just because the window is right here, but this is like my, this is my dining room. It's not a room, but this is where my kitchen table is, which I never use. It was my dad's and he gave it to me and it's a like a authentic diner table and the design on the table is so beautiful. It like folds out right here and there's like a whole nother side that folds out but I never have enough people over to have it out both ways nor do I have enough chairs. So I kind of just leave it like this and then I got these chairs at Goodwill and they are the most beautiful chairs I've ever seen in my life. They're vintage. I believe, don't attack me, but I believe they're vintage. Definitely got them at a thrift store, so they're definitely thrifted. Um, they're wooden, they're so fragile, it's kind of scary to sit on them. And the seat is woven, so they're just so beautiful and I freaking love them. And then just on top of the table I have a plant, a fake plant, plant, a fake plant that I thrifted. The, my, one of my favorite things I've thrift, thrifted ever is this vase right here. I am obsessed. I, the second I saw it, I just I died a little bit because I love this so much. And then I just got two candles, a little tiny cactus, and then a mason jar chalkboard that I painted that I think really just pulls it all together. <laughs> and then all the wall up here are just more frames that I thrifted with my art in them. And by the way, if you're looking for some art, you can get all of my prints on my website. So the link is in the description and you should go look at it because they're beautiful. So now we're moving into the living room. This is my favorite place to be. This is my favorite place to be specifically. This couch I got at a thrift store for, wait for it, $12. One, two, twelve dollars. And it is my most prized possession. It is absolutely beautiful. I, the day before I got it, I found the exact same one on Facebook Marketplace. And they sold it before I got to it. And I was so sad because I was like, oh my god, it's perfect. I've been looking for so long. And then I went to the thrift store the next day. And this one was here for twelve dollars. And I swear they're identical. So... That was pretty cool. I uh, bought some like peg legs kind of couch legs on Amazon and I just screwed them on and now it like it made the couch look significantly better. So life hack. And I just have some throw pillows which are typically covered in food because I eat like this and then I eat on my couch instead of using the table that's beautiful and over there I sit on the couch and use my pillows. So. They have food all over them. <laughs> and there's a giant stain on the side from some sweet and sour sauce from the night whenever I was eating takeout. Um, it's always a good time on the couch. Here, we have a beautiful coffee table that was built by my handyman boyfriend who can do freaking anything because he's a superhero apparently. And I just like sent him a picture and then he built it. And then I spray painted the top white, kept the bottom half like the natural wood color. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is so pretty and perfect. And then I just have a few little like coffee table knickknack kind of things on top. And I just have this little ashtray for sage whenever I burn sage. And then a beautiful little plant pot. Cute little coffee table plant. 
this uh, coaster that I got at Goodwill. It's like a green marble. I can't believe I found this. I think it was 99 cents. It is perfect. And then this little... I broke my plant, no. This buddy's been fragile for a while, so... It's fine, we're fine. Okay, that doesn't normally happen. And then we just have this little center console kind of thing that I just kind of throw stuff in. There's a little box of some like wooden puzzles that's really fun, just like whenever there's people over. I like to just like break one apart and then give it to them and be like, here, put it back together. And then they're like stuck to hang out with me for like 30 more minutes because they need to figure it out. And then I just have some extra coasters, my remotes, some um, CBD, and some candles, and then my boyfriend's jar of candy that he never finished, because <laughs> he's five years old. And then over here I just have some coffee table snacks. Right now there's chili, dried mango, and candied pecans in them, but it changes every week, basically. Just whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm feeling like snacking on. Sometimes there's dry or roasted chickpeas in it, and those are so good and then just another little plant that's beautiful and thriving and this little crystal coaster that I got whenever I was in Michigan which I freaking love it everything just looks so nice on here and I I'm just I nailed it I truly did I feel so weird just like sitting on my floor but this is easily one of my favorite parts of my apartment just because I think it's so pretty First, um, over here, we have this like ladder. It's half white, half the natural wood, just like kind of everything is in the living room. This plant is reflecting the light on me, or maybe it's... That's just, okay, never mind. It's gonna be weird, whatever. Um, but I built this maybe like three years ago, and I've had it ever since. I think it's so cool. I just hang bandanas on it. I used to have a blanket on there, but then I just start, started like using my blankets too much, so... I just took it down and left them out. <laughs> and then my beautiful baby right here. This is one of my favorite plants. I got the pot from the thrift store. That's why it's so freaking big. It's the biggest plant pot I've ever seen. But whenever I got her, she was just two little stems. And now she's like 20. <laughs> so I love this plant a lot. Okay. And then scooting it down. Over here, I just have a lot of little decor kind of knickknacks down here. There's a little plant pot with some put some like cinnamon pine cones in it that I got a while ago. They don't smell like cinnamon anymore, but they look really cool in there. And then a little vase with some dried eucalyptus. And then another plant pot with a fake little succulent in it. Again, so I did. And then I just have two um candles you'll see like real quick that i'm i'm in a big candle phase right now oh this one's burning my arm anyways i'm in a big candle phase uh so they're always lit <laughs> okay anyways and then i just have like my little plants going around the edges and then my tv and then more plants and I don't know why I said that like that, but there is always like two or three plants behind my TV trying to grow because this is where the most sunlight comes in, so I always put uh, plants behind the TV to give them the most light. So right now I think I'm growing arugula, cilantro, and chives, question mark. I can't remember, but that's what's going on back there. And then we've just got... Some more little decor, um, some little like coffee table books that I think are so cute. Um, never read them though, but that's fine. And then a little crystal and then a jar with my incense in them, which love to burn a good incense. And I don't know how I forgot to mention this, but my boyfriend built me the TV stand as well. So... If you're a local North Texan and you need some furniture, custom built, please call me because I want him to make more because he's so talented and it's so cool. But yeah, just, 
he built that. That's all I gotta say. So the next thing is this beautiful plant that is actually almost as tall as me, and I'm five nine, so I, that's that's pretty tall. But whenever I got this plant, both the stems were down here. There's actually three stems, but uh, this one grew the tallest because it used to be flipped, and this one was by the window. But the other day, I was like cleaning and I, I turned it. So now hopefully this one kind of gets some time to like catch up. And then I just have this tapestry hanging here because I use it as a curtain I just kind of like lift it up whenever I need it and like drape it over my window because the sunset gets so bright and hot and it's just like a little too much sometimes so usually around like five o'clock I put this up and then it's just it cools me down and my AC is off right now so I'm like sweating so much so I'm like ready to put it up already <laughs> okay and then like in the in the corner uh, in this corner, so up here, this is one of my favorite things I've ever thrifted, ever. It is... It's... I keep thinking I hear my like, neighbors and our walls are really thin, so I don't want to be like screaming at my camera right now. It's white, but then some of the designs in it are brown, and it has this like corkboard kind of back. It looks like it's meant to have some glass over it to be a real frame, but I loved it exactly how it was. I think it is so beautiful. And then I just drew this up really quick the day I got the frame and pinned it on there because I was like, I need this to be perfect right now. So I just like drew something up and threw it up there. And I, this is probably one of my favorite pieces in the whole apartment. Like this combined with my giant plant, like, oof, it looks so good. And then, way back here this is one of those little pegboards I just took I found it outside <laughs> and then I just went to um, I have there's this place in, in my town called scrap it's like a like a thrift store for crafts so I went there found a bunch of artificial plants um, I think I got them all like it's so cheap there everything is like less than a dollar so I got all of these for maybe like a dollar and then I just pegboarded them on there and I love the way it turned out. I think it's so cute. <laughs> it's also honestly best corner in the house. I've got my printer, my Wi-Fi, and my cat's litter box. So cute. <laughs> so I've tried to mask all of those things by building my cat a little like dog house kind of thing out of an old bookshelf. So I just like kind of like cut it out a little hole in the front and then put the litter box in it and then through a little frame, a plant, and then my incense holder right there. And that's just kind of like a cute little corner. Alright, we're away from the windows. The bad lighting is over. <laughs> so we'll start up here. <laughs> I have this little shelf. I believe it's an Ikea shelf. Um, it's just a white shelf. And then when I got it, these little wall mounts, they were black. Um, I painted them this like terracotta color and it changed the entire wall completely I feel like. And then up here I just have a few plants that I've had for the longest time. I think this is one of my oldest plants um, and it's absolutely living its best life. I've got a dead plant which looks alive so I just kept it there. And then some dried flowers that I put in a little vase. Some more of my art, a little mirror, and then this woven kind of basket that I got at Goodwill. And she's super cute. I love that. There's a matching one in my kitchen. We'll see that in a second. And then just this little wood plank that I found that I painted a little design on super fast. I just like most of the stuff in my apartment is very like spur of the moment things that I just kind of throw together and put up. Like especially that, I painted it in like five minutes and just like nailed it to the wall. So that's kind of how most of the things go here. Okay, moving down here. This is my Papasan chair. 
Is that how you say it? I can't remember. <laughs> I believe it's from Pier 1 Imports, but I got it off Facebook Marketplace. I waited so long to scroll past one that had a neutral cushion. Most of them were like hot pink and blue, and I was just like, no. So I finally found this like tan color, and I love how it looks, and I love the fact that it's not white to the fact where it'll get dirty too fast. So I love this thing. It's so comfy. It's kind of scary sometimes because you feel like you're going to like fall back. That's kind of why it's against the wall um, to feel a little more secure. And then on the couch I just have some random throw pillows that I've gotten at the thrift store that I don't love too much. That's like the one thing I'm still trying to figure out is all of my throw pillow situation. Um, I, right now I like three out of six that I have, so that will all come with time. Throw pillows at thrift stores are very hard to find good ones, so we'll get there when we get there. And then over here I just have this little table. My friend gave this to me and he got it from someone who built it for him. So it's been through a lot, but it's super cute. The bottom, like, the legs are painted white, and then, like, half of the legs are, are just that, like, natural wood color that I've been talking about that I love. And then I, and then I painted the top white. And then I just have this little elephant plant pot, which is so precious. And then another, the most fragile plant I own, you touch it and, like, five leaves fall off. I don't know why that happens, but, um, I have that one as well. And then... Just two dark green candles that are so pretty and they're sitting in these new candle holders that I got today for two dollars and they're beautiful. Next wall. Yes, the thermostat. The air conditioning is off because I am filming this video. It is 83 degrees in here. I'm sweating. <laughs> so we'll start up here. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Okay, so over here I have this uh, clock. Doesn't work. No batteries in it. It is set to 10 and 2 because, as you know, in the advertisements, they're always set to 10 and 2 because they're smiling. I actually, like, sponge painted it white, so it has kind of like a, like a grainy effect to it. <sighs> so many unwanted visitors in this video. There's, um, rats that live in my walls. That's kind of like a common occurrence in my town. If you live here, you have rats in your attic, in your walls, underneath you. There's everywhere. So we hear him scratching around a lot. He is truly going to town right now. Okay, I'm back. My SD card got full, so I just had to sit and wait for it to transfer to my computer because I don't have another one. But we're back. It's fine. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So I've got these two shelves up here. Um, I believe they're Ikea shelves, but I have two fake plants that I thrifted on top of them and then a little, a little chalkboard sign, it's super cute, and then this little hanging plant right here. I got this pot at the thrift store and then I made this little hanging plant pot out of thrifted yarn, so that's super cute. Uh, excuse me, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Now we're going down here. So I got this. I this thing is it's just like a little cabinet kind of thing. It looks like it's meant to be like an entertainment center, but like super small. Um, it's you can tell it's just super old. I got this at the thrift store for three dollars, three, and I think that was a bargain. I almost didn't get it, and I'm so happy I did. It has lots of plants on top. And then it has lots of crystals on top, some sage, and a frame with some of my art in it. And then just this little wicker basket that has some thrifted yarn in it, which is basically where I keep all of the yarn that I use for all of these plant pots that I make. And if you're wondering, these plant pots are for sale on my website, so go buy them. Another shameless self promo, what can I say? The shelf, I just keep the book that I'm reading right now, my crossword puzzle book, and then my laptop right here so that we can get to them super easily. And then down here, it's like my little craft cabinet. I have 
the most random things. I have like all of my paint and my paint markers, spray paint, just like a bunch of random stuff, like craft stuff that I own. I just throw it all in here. And then over here is just this little side table that I thrifted along with all of my blankets that I was telling you about that used to hang up on my ladder over there, but now they're over here. Easy access. And then a plant pot that looks empty, but it is not. It has a plant root in it and it is slowly trying to grow. So send her good thoughts. We love her. She's doing great. <laughs> I'm like trying to like contort my body to fit in the frame. <laughs> I'll just like squat a little. <laughs> okay, so before I show you my office, I want to show you my bedroom really quick. This is probably the darkest room in my apartment just because it doesn't have as many windows and like the sun stays mostly on that side of the house. So this room doesn't get much light. Shout out to these plants for still surviving in here, honestly. Um, but yeah, this is my bedroom. This is... I I don't know if I... I'm so weird. <laughs> I don't know if I said this before, but my house is... Or my apartment is a giant house split up into four other apartments. Um... So that's why some things are a little weird, <laughs> like this window that goes to my kitchen. It's because this room used to be the balcony, so they turned it into a room, kept the window there for some reason. Uh, but I honestly like it a lot. Fig loves to just run and jump through it, and jump through it again, and jump through it again, and then run away. It's really fun. <laughs> so there's a window there. This is my dresser. I've had it for so long. It's from Ikea. So I know I'm saying like a lot of things are from Ikea, but basically if it's from Ikea, then it's like the only thing in this apartment that I haven't thrifted. That's why I'm saying that, I guess. Anything else where I don't say where it's from, I got it from the thrift store. Just so you know. I don't know if I need to say that. Anyways, it used to be just white, but I used vinyl and a box cutter and designed each of these on the front. And I think it's super cool. I might take them off soon. This is my favorite one, which is staying forever, and I like this one a lot too, but the other ones, it just seems a little bit too much sometimes, so I feel like it's definitely going to change eventually, but for now, I like it a lot, and I think it's super cool. And then I've just got a few plants up here. I've got my ukulele, a little necklace holder, and then this giant mirror, which is one of my best thrift finds because it was $2, and this thing is hefty. Just getting it to my car from the thrift store was a journey. So I love that thing. And then I just have my hamper right here and it's laundry day so don't look inside. Wow beautiful. This is one of my newer additions to the apartment. This is my collage wall. I thrifted all of these frames and then some of them are prints like the the herb prints, or like the plant prints, I don't know what these are called, but those were given to me by a friend, and then anything else I just drew up super quick to fill the frame. <laughs> so I really love how this wall turned out. And finally, this is my bed. I have had all of this bedding and the bed frame for so long. Um, the headboard was built by my dad. It's some old pieces of fence because he like redid our fence so I asked him to build me a headboard with the old pieces. Um, I might be getting a new one for my boyfriend's mom soon but for now I have that one and I love it and I think it's so cool that my dad built it for me. And then I just have some throw pillows on top. I have my little nightstand and then the little like what do you call them? Like word boards? I can't remember what they're called. Uh, fuck. I can't remember. Anyways, I built that little like word board over there and like all of the letters. I like individually cut them out because I got really bored one day and didn't have anything to do. So I built that a while ago. And right now it says get out of your head because I've been having a lot of uh, mental health issues. So it's kind of like a little reminder for me to get out of my head. <laughs> And then I just have a little fake plant over there 
a salt lamp that doesn't have a light bulb in it, and a candle. And that's basically all that goes on over there. And then real quick, I just have these curtains on the window that I made out of some thrifted fabric and some nails. I literally just cut it and put it up. And I think they turned out pretty cute. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm I'm dying. Okay, I'm done complaining. So this is one of those things that I was talking about that is like a little odd about my apartment. I guess most of the stuff that's weird goes on in this room. But this is the other wall in my bedroom and it's basically like a giant door. These curtains are here because otherwise everyone could see inside. So <laughs> that's why these are here to protect me from creeps that want to look inside. <laughs> and then right here is like another, I had to cover it up with a picture frame, but it's a another giant window that was a door that just goes straight into the hallway. So that's why we keep that there. See how I said this used to be the, uh, the balcony. So this must have been the balcony door back whenever it was up and running. So they just kind of kept it, didn't feel like knocking it down, going over it with the wall, just left it. But we think it's pretty cool. Well, they covered the keyhole with tape. That's very nice to find out. And like the keyholes here are so old that when you look through them, you can like literally see through them. That's how freaking old this door is. So it's really nice to know that they just covered it with tape. Okay, now we're moving into my kitchen and I'm gonna make this super brief because you see this in literally every single video and I have a very in-depth kitchen tour already on my channel um, which I will link down below but if you want to watch that I literally go into every cabinet every drawer and I show you everything in my kitchen so that'll be down below for now not much has changed since that video so this is it I love my kitchen so much favorite room in the whole in, in the whole house oh god I have my stove and my microwave, my little teapot, cookbook holder, knives, cutting board, cutting board, <gasps> lots of cutting boards, um, my utensils, I've got my spice rack right behind me, my pantry's right here, drying rack. For now I'm retiring the Nutra, Nutra Bullet, what? <laughs> For now I'm retiring my Vitamix and I'm using this. And I haven't made banana ice cream with it yet, so I will report back when I've done that because we all know that's a task and a half. So for now, I'm loving this a lot. It's super cool. And then I just have my sink and then all of my windowsill plants, which are beautiful. And then another cutting board, some hanging plants up here that are dead. Don't look at them. Okay, and then over here, I just have my fridge. I have like, this is my little tray of fruits and veggies and things, you know, stuff you keep on the counter. I have all that right there. I have my fridge. It has so many pictures on it. A lot of them are Polaroids over here are Polaroids from whenever I was in like high school that I think are super cool. And then like on the front half are all old pictures of me and my family whenever we were younger. <laughs> Some of them are just so funny here. I'll show you my favorite one. Don't mind this, just got a little speeding ticket. No big deal, it's whatever. But this is my favorite one. It's me crying and my dad's holding me. So I love having that on display. <laughs> and these are just some more of those uh, prints that my friend gave me in these frames. I don't love that they're black frames. I think I might get different ones, but for now this is what, working's, or is what is working or I might paint them a different color. This is me and my boyfriend's stash of lottery tickets. We kind of just like, we'll randomly get some and then if we have a winner, we'll put it on here and then once we have like a ton, it's kind of like, it's like our savings. <laughs> our lottery ticket savings. Whenever we win, we just put it here and then once we have a ton, we'll just like go cash it in. <laughs> Honestly, this is the room I'm most excited to show because it's the most, it's the room that has changed the most since everything has happened and I finally finished it literally three hours ago 
So I'm very happy with how it turned out, and I'm so excited to show you. Okay, we'll just we'll just start over here. So I have this giant fake plant that I thrifted on this uh, plant stand that my roommate left, and then I've got some little wall cubes that I got at the thrift store, and then painted white with some plants inside, some crystals, some little thrifted knickknacks, a little thrifted dream catcher, and then another one of my art pieces. And then, okay, and then this is my desk with my, my absolute pride and joy on it. This is my gaming PC. <laughs> know what to say. Um, it's custom built gaming PC. Don't know the specs because I got it on Facebook Marketplace so don't ask. And then I've got my dual monitors, my gaming keyboard and my gaming mouse because I'm just like such a gamer. And then just a plant, a salt lamp that actually works. So this is the next corner of my office. Um, I've got my little bookcase which has one row of books and then some cubbies. Um, I just keep random crap in the cubbies. No organization there. I've got my two film cameras and then my essential oils at the very bottom. Essential oils are key. And then I've got all the plants on top. And then in the corner down there, I've got Fig's food, which I used to have over by her litter box. And then in my last video, everyone was like, your cat will like really appreciate it if you move her food away from where she poops and I was like oh damn didn't even think about that so I moved it <laughs> and I like it a lot better there it kind of looks really cute and then I've got my mirror which is my pride and joy I love it so much I've always wanted a giant mirror I got it off Facebook marketplace for like 70 bucks which I think is like a really good deal for how big it is and then I just kind of propped it up on some crates because it was too short and I didn't like it being on the ground. And then over on the other side, I have my favorite plant ever. She grows and thrives even whenever I forget to water her. So we love her for that. And then just this plant stand that my neighbor gave me. And then one of my favorite thrifted pieces of art is this daffodils one in the back. I just think the frame and the picture, it's, it like matches the room so perfectly. So I'm so happy I found that. And then my closet is over here, which is also considered a fig's room. Also, I know it's really weird, but my closet is in my office and not in my bedroom. But that's not my fault. I didn't build the place. Time to say hi to the people. My little sleepy baby. Say hi. Hello. I am fig. <laughs> All right, now she's going to be a little upset because I just woke her. But that's okay. You napped for far too long. But this is the last part. This is actually what I finished today. Um, my friend Michael gave me this yesterday and I kind of instantly knew what I wanted to do with it and I love how it turned out. I, this is the part that I finished today. I think I literally just said that but I'm saying it again. <laughs> the first things down here I have because this is my yoga mat is on the floor right here. I just keep it on the floor all the time because it's really big. It's a cork yoga mat so it's like really thick so like rolling it up and unrolling it every day is a little bit unnecessary but right here I have some of my yoga supplies I have my two um, yoga blocks and then I just have this little wicker basket that I actually got today and it has my straps uh, they're like resist resistant band um, so I have those and then I just have like a regular yoga strap um, that my friend got me for Christmas and it's embroidered with my name thanks Sarah I have my beautiful baby, my Monstera plant. Pride and joy, got her off Facebook Marketplace too. Even this baby's thrifted. <laughs> and then my, I have this plant right here and she's also in a little wicker, wicker uh, plant pot. And then this, this is important. <laughs> this is my essential oil diffuser. I love this thing. I don't know how I lived without one before, but so much. And then you can set it for one hour, three hours, six hours. And it being in this smaller room, it can like diffuse so much better because there's not as much space to fill. And then I just have this picture frame of me and my boyfriend. Uh, 
It's actually the only picture frame in this house that has actual pictures of me in it. So that's a fun change of pace. <laughs> Alright, I am probably much more red and sweaty since we started this video, but I hope you guys liked watching my apartment tour. I love this place so much and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out and I am so grateful for all the hard work and effort I put into thrifting and also the patience that I put into thrifting. Yeah, and I'm just so grateful I'm able to have this home and have all of these things that bring me so much joy because I only have things that either have a purpose or I can put a purpose into and that bring me joy and I'm just very happy with everything that I have right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed the change of pace in the video this week. I really love showing home decor things, DIY things, so if you guys do want more of that, let me know because I truly do love this stuff a lot. I can do more yoga videos, just really let me know what you guys want to see and I can make it happen, Captain. <laughs> um, um, I don't know what else to say. So I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!